like you're eating steak. Steak doesn't just cook in, a, in an hour's time. You, you understand? The best meal is the one that takes time to cook. So I wish you guys were here. And if you're watching this, you can try this at your place, at your home, for your family. And if you're a man, you're trying to make babies, I repeat again. Well, I'm not trying to make babies, guys. <laughs> I'm not married. Or I haven't married yet. And if you're a mother with a kid, with a young kid, you're a lactating mother, it's good you try this, okay? Oh my God. So this is what we've done, guys. Or this is what I've done. This is how we're supposed to cut. Okay, you can cut them into larger pieces, but just deciding into these pieces and then the the potatoes are uh, quite sizable and then i forgot to tell you that you need to add chili okay this is around uh, seven chilies and then yeah so this is what we have now okay so let these meat boil for a Hi guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Leos. So, in the last few videos that I have been, uh, I have been doing, we've been busy, you know, doing a lot of uh, making old stuff here and there. But today, I want to do something else, something different. Okay? Yeah. All right. What am I going to do today? I'm going to cook together with you guys. Today is actually Saturday. It's around 2.30 p.m. And I want to take you guys together with me as I, I cook. So if you don't know more about what I do in this channel, sometimes I cook, sometimes I do DIY, sometimes I travel, though it's been long since I traveled, okay? So talking about cooking, before I show you what I'm going to cook, this is a kind of a meal that um, you should take or if you're going to cook it after this video you should take it when you have time because it takes time to cook okay so let me show you something this is what I'm going to use in, uh, in cooking I was lighting a jiko over there so let us go and uh, check it out yeah it's now ready so this is what you call a jiko if you don't know what this is okay let me take it into the house it's pretty hot okay hope it doesn't not it doesn't burn my camera all right so let me show you something now okay so this is the jiko this is what we're going to use. And as I told you guys, it's going to take time. So it will take around two to three hours at most. Yeah. So you should cook this when you uh, when you have time. So today we're going to make tumbukiza. Okay. Tumbukiza is a Swahili word. All right. Kutumbukiza. I don't know how to translate it to English. To deep. Yeah. Well, this is what we're going to do. These are the ingredients. This is beef. Okay, this uh, beef, this cabbage, and then these are potatoes, Irish potatoes. These are around uh, four. We'll add more tomatoes and then one onion, one uh, cusp. What is this name? Pili -pili -ho -ho, I've forgotten the English name. And then carrots, right? Those are the main ingredients. So the first thing is uh, we're going to wash this. Actually, not really dirty, and then now let it boil for around an hour. Now, that is this is where most of the time it's going to be spent boiling this meat, right? Yeah, so I don't know how you guys wash your meat or your beef, but you know, I don't wash it a lot, just wash it just a little, and then it's good to go. Now, 
the reason why um, this is a unique meal and it takes time it's because most of these ingredients we're not going to cut them okay so the only thing we're going to cut is the meat okay and then let it boil until it, it is really um, really soft okay and then the next thing we're going to cut into pieces well not 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 uh, not big pieces is this but the rest of uh, and then we'll also cut the onions and then uh, of course the potatoes and then these ones we'll cut them into half okay these are also into half this into half and then put them in here okay sounds interesting or sounds weird okay <laughs> i know so let us put these into the fire into the jiko just like that and then uh, guys these are not flowers this is uh, coriander okay so uh, let me place the camera somewhere Put some salt, this is salt now. I think it's enough that way. Okay. So we put the meat uh, or the beef into the fire and then uh, now we're gonna wash this um, other ingredients right these are quite dirty these also okay let me wash them because of you know uh, hygiene purposes right so yeah we're gonna start our our process of cooking now we go so this is what we've done guys or this is what i've done this is how we're supposed to cut okay you can cut them into larger pieces but just decided into these pieces then the the potatoes are uh, quite sizable and then i forgot to tell you that you need to add chili okay these are around uh, seven chilies and then yeah so this is what we have now okay so let these meat boil for a couple of uh, minutes for around uh, an hour and then uh, I'll be back to continue cooking. So that one is called, that meal is called Tumbukiza in Swahili. I don't know how to call it in, uh, I don't know how to call it in uh, English, but it's good. It's good for, you know, for your, if you like soup actually. So let us wait for the meat to boil. I'm still working over here. Is my workspace the workspace we made the other day yeah so yeah i'll catch you after an hour or so hi guys it's been like an hour now okay this is what we have now mm. let me test it Um, soft and tender so let us add this mm. Okay, so we added um, the potatoes. Next, oh yeah, next is this. Let me just add them together. Next 
next is this. these lastly I'm going to add the chilies that is one two three four five six seven eight nine and when the cusp come or pili pili ho ho and then lastly to to again cook so the importance with or the goodness with uh, cooking that way is um, the food takes time but you don't have to engage yourself so much in uh, you know cooking you just go check then uh, come back just wait for it to cook and then again go go check and then you don't use any oil right so let's give it another one hour so that we can see the, uh, the end result of that cooking, right? So see in one hour. Guys, it's been like 
an hour. It's around six right now. Let me confirm. Yeah. See, it is six. Now, let us see our progress. Okay, now it's time to turn. See, it's been boiling from the bottom. Now let us turn so that the carrots and tomatoes can go down. some salt six tomatoes okay you guys can see the soup now it's becoming thick and thick okay let me add a little water again so that I give it time to boil now again for the next one hour so let's say by seven okay so let me head to the Today, um, today I'm not going to the gym. Today I'm going to. Today I'm going for an evening run. So let me go for an evening run for around 30 minutes. We have some crazy good stadium here around. So let me go for an evening run for around 30 minutes. And then come back. Then the soup will be ready, and it will be time to dig in. See you then. So guys, uh, I just came back from uh, my evening run. Let us see what we have here. God damn it. Now this is the part where you need now to crush these tomatoes. You see how they crush very easily. Okay, wow. Now is the time to see what we got. Okay. Now this is what you call tomokiza. Well, other people make it differently, but this is how um, I make, or I know how to make. So now there's a step to now, if the tomatoes are not crushed, there's a time to crush them. And then test if the soup is, is cool. And then after that, now, they're ready to serve. Wow. You see, everything is well cooked. Even the, even the carrots, you see? You can cut the carrots now. So this combination of uh, all this food, is good for mostly for mothers who are lactating. Yes, mothers with newborn babies. You see the chili? 
Yeah, mothers with newborn babies, but without the chili, right? Yeah. It's good for also for people who are working out, people who go to the gym. The soup is so good. And also, if you want to make babies. So this food is good if you want to make babies. Oh, that's true, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So, it's good, it's good. Most of a man who wants to make babies. Okay. Now, let me... Okay, let me see how, how the, the fire is faring. See? I added charcoal like thrice, so... This charcoal is okay, so I'll let it now... Oh, okay, I'll let it now cook slowly again. Now, it's actually cooked right now, it is. Yeah, so I forgot, I forgot to tell you that it's also good for hangovers, apart from... <laughs> making babies it's good for hangovers so i want to take a shower and then and then serve i also show you, show you guys how to serve okay yeah so let me take a shower and then i'll be back so guys it's been uh around six hours cooking two three four five six seven eight whoa seven hours cooking this meal Okay, now it's time to test. Actually, I haven't tested. The only thing I tested is the meat earlier on, around uh, three or four. So I start with the soup first. Remember, I haven't cooked this food with any cooking oil or cooking fat. Yeah, so let me test the soup first and then. Oh my God, greatness. The greatness here, the greatness here, eh? I think I should put the, the recipe down for you guys below this video. So if you want the recipe for this, for this food, just try it. Yeah, it will be below this video. Just check the description box, you'll find it. So, oh, <laughs> the greatness here, the chilies were actually uh, perfect. I've used around nine chilies if you can remember. Don't put a lot of chilies, you might not like it if you don't, you don't like chilies. So let me serve it. This is my bowl. Oh, okay, let me serve it and then start eating. It's been a long time of waiting. So the best meals are usually cooked with time. You have to wait so that you can eat the best meal. It's like you're eating steak. Steak doesn't just cook in, a, in an hour's time. You, you understand? The best meal is the one that takes time to cook. So I wish you guys were here. And if you're watching this, you can try this at your place, at your home, for your family. And if you're a man, if you want to make babies, I repeat again. Well, I'm not trying to make babies, guys. <laughs> I'm not married. Or I haven't married yet. And if you're a mother with a kid, with a young kid, you're a lactating mother, it's good to try this, okay? Oh my God. Oh, ha, greatness. So the rest of this, I'll just reduce the, the fire in the jiko so that it can boil slowly and then my brother comes it will still be hot or warm for him to you know for him to eat. So let me tell you something a little something about uh, this meal. Let me put it slowly. Yeah yeah. What is it like? looks like from distance. This is the space we've been making, okay? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, let me sit down first. You see how it looks? So yummy. Oh, there's the soup. And then the 
Let's see if, yeah, you see, even the potatoes are cooked, they can easily, you can easily slice through them. Okay. So one thing is, I haven't told you that I never cooked this food. So you might be asking, you, you need to cook the food with uh, any cooking oil or any cooking fat because you never fried anything. We just boiled everything that you see in this, um, this plate. Yeah, so I don't have much to say. Oh, I really want to eat, honestly. <laughs> if you can see, if you can read me, I really want to eat. I haven't eaten anything since just last eight, I think we ate in the morning. Yeah, so I will put, let me, let me finish eating and then I'll try and make a recipe and then you can download it. I'll put it in Word or PDF and then you guys can download. Um, I'll just use the pictures also. So I'll just download, uh, you'll be able to download it, sorry, in form of Word and then you can use it. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing me cook this meal. Yeah, let's catch up in the next video, hopefully. Goodbye, adios.